Well, Anna and I are back from our month-long trip around some other islands in the Philippines, just doing another dive at Gato. What a beautiful early morning sight Logon Beach is. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> on in oh, there. here's Jerry. Or not, as the case may um, be. He's trying to get on the boat. Yeah, whichever you wish. Um, Preferably in the most water of us use a little chase boat and then just sort of climb up the side, but he seems to have swum out here and uh, he's making quite a hard job of actually climbing in. You can just hear the chase boat in the background. Um, it is a bit difficult getting in under the outriggers, but uh, uh, I think he's just spotted um, there is a ladder and uh, it does make it a bit easier. Anyway, best not to say too much at this point, just uh, let him climb up it. But uh, that shows how it's done if you don't take the normal way. Yeah, it's easy when you know how. There we go. Here's one of the guys um, just uh, chopping up a chicken as we head out towards Gato. Um, they make absolutely fantastic chicken soups and things. Uh, and if you're lucky, you can scrounge a bit off them um, round about dinner time. Fantastic stuff, just what you need after a dive. There's Emily getting ready to uh, put all the gear together. And then we're ready to get into the water. As you can see, it's a whole heap better than it was in December. Gato is a nice island, drops straight down into the sea. So uh, Dennis and myself are just hanging about, really, waiting for the others to get ready, and uh, so we can drop down. That's Almeo, one of the dive guides. And uh, I think there we have a short clip of a famous American actor. Anyway, let's see what we can uh, have a look at on our swim around. I'm not going to try and name all the corals and things. It's way too difficult for me. It's quite colourful. Gato's a renowned area for sea snakes. Oh, there we are. Nice little banded sea snake. They're really quite common down there. So off we go. See what else we can see. Usually come across some uh, white tip reef sharks. There's Anna just hanging about looking at the bottom. All the dive guides from DiveLink um, specialise in macro spotting for macro photographers. There's Emily just trying to straighten her gear out. And, um, oh look, the obligatory Nemo. Can't have too many Nemos on a dive, can we? What was I saying? Oh, I know, yeah, macro. Which is great for people with good eyesight, but for old folk like me, I just have to point my camera and hope. There's a little moray stuck in a hole here. See him a little bit better as we come away. Our currents are a little bit variable around Gatto. Um, at any level, really. Well, here's Spencer, kindly illuminating a white tip shark for me. There it is in its hole, just having a rest. We couldn't go the way we wanted, the current was way too strong, so we're all having a bit of a drift back now. Thank God, because I'm, uh, I'm not a strong current guy, really. And this is hanging about, waiting for us, no doubt. I think the rest of them are just having a bit of a sort of bimble about, really. Seeing what we can, uh, what we can spot. It's obviously getting sort of towards the end of the dive. Everyone seems to be checking their dive computers. Oh, somebody's going up. They've run out of air too quick. We won't mention any names though. It's always a bit embarrassing. Usually I'm the, uh, the one that has the highest air consumption. Especially compared to people like Anna who can dive for hours on a tank. I think the older and more unfit you get, the more embarrassing life becomes. That's Almeo pointing at something, one of these macro things. I didn't bother to shoot it. I couldn't see a thing. Anyway, it kept the three of them busy for about five or seven minutes, I suppose. It made for a really boring video, so uh, I've cut the clip up quite a lot, really. As you can see, 
Well, looks like the end of the dive. We'll climb back up, go for our surface interval and a bite to eat maybe. See you've got another dive this afternoon.